What's up guys, Chris again, here for another bathroom review if you want to call it that. Um, let's just get to it. So as requested by a lot of people, we're looking at the Marlin 7, hugely upgraded for this year. A um, couple things they've not gone ahead with. Originally I think they spoke about having tubeless ready rims and it doesn't look like they've done that. Um, otherwise, there are some big improvements. So one of the biggest changes they've done to this is going to the Dior system, and it's the one by 10, cleaning it up, making it a really easy 28 tooth on the front and a 46 on the back. It's gonna give you a similar range to what it used to be on there, but with the simple one by system. As well, they upgraded the front fork to a RockShox Judy, which is actually a fairly impressive fork. This is still just a spring, no air adjustment there. But honestly, it works great. So the big changes are that one by system, the front fork is upgraded. The brakes are the same that they put on the 2021 Fuley X5. So obviously they're reliable enough. If you're looking for like an entry level trail bike that actually will perform, the Merlin 7 is gonna be that bike before you step over into the Roscoe or the Excalibur where you're really spending a bit of money on it. This thing is around $1,000 and you get a lot for your money. Obviously for the commuting side of things, you're going to lose some of those fine increments, climbing hills, it's in an easier setup, you're not going to be going as fast for commuting, but it's an awesome bike. They have a lot of good power spec on it. Big downside to the new frame design of the 2021s, and this goes for all the Merlins, is you have to use an external dropper post. 